Hi ladies, it's Karen and um, I have um, a few tags I thought I'd share with you. I made a couple of Christmas ones and then a couple just for fun pretty ones. So I'll show you the Christmas ones. Both On both of these I used my um, Inka Dinka Do Christmas stamp set. Uh, this one. So with this one I distressed I started by distressing um, the edges with fired brick and I believe peeled paint. I stamped, I used my large Recollections music stamp to stamp the music in the background there. I used a maroon colored Memento ink. Then I sprayed it using my Perfect Pearls, I think that's what it is. The um, the spray uh, glimmers uh, by Ranger. Um, I used the heirloom gold on it and it gave it such a nice shimmer. I was going to add bling but I didn't want to distract from that shimmer on there. It came out really sweet. And then um, I stamped the Christmas tree image on a separate paper and then embossed it with my Queen's Gold um, embossing powder by Ranger and fussy cut it and then distress the edges um, a little bit and put it on pop dots and um, use some red silk ribbon and that's that's that one and I can write the sentiment on the back when I get ready to send it out then this one I distress the edges using the Victorian I think it's Victorian Rose um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and some, uh, I believe it's peeled, um, no, uh, crushed olive. I distressed the edges. Then I used my Recollections uh, large script stamp and I stamped the script in tea dye. I went over the edges with my gold leaving pen. Then for the for this image, I used my Versafine Onyx Black um, ink, and I really love this ink. This ink is perfect when you want to pick up a lot of detail. So that's what I used to stamp the, the image. And then I I used my um, I forgot the name of it, the watermark um, stamp to stamp a couple of snowflakes here and then I used my Ranger holographic embossing powder on the snowflakes and I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up there we go it's really very very cool so there's that one then for this one I used my Kaiser Craft birdcage stamp and it's this and it's five inches by two inches, so it's larger than the tag itself. So I stamped it on a separate paper and then in, on separate cardstock, and then I embossed it using um, a brown. It's by Ranger, and it's, I forgot the name of it, but it's brown and it has a little bit of gold shimmers in it. So it, it came out really, really quite cool. So then I fussy cut it out and I adhered it. I, and I adhered it kind of offset so it would, um, you know, suit the tag. I used some paper here, adhered some paper here, and I used my um, Martha Stewart Butterfly Border Punch. And um, then I adhered the butterflies from that around the cage and stuff, and I glossy accented them. I added a butterfly from, you know, this is one I got at the expo, and these are uh, halfback pearls, recollection pearls. I added this lace, but I, I adhered it on the back because I didn't want to interrupt the design, you know, down here. This bling here is from Pro 31 Designs, and it's this, and it's very, very cool. I really like this stuff. <clears throat> So that's what I did there. Some fibers and ribbon at the top. And then this one is my favorite. For this one, I used this 
large stamp. I think I got it at Michael's, and it's by Inka Dinka Do, and it's this dress form with like the pattern behind it. It's really quite cool. And again, I used my VersaFine ink on that. But first, what I did was I distressed the edges using tea dye, and then I used the Victorian. I want to say Victorian Rose Distress Ink and stamped the music stamp behind, you know, and then I, st I stamped the uh, dress form, up, you know, on top of it, you know, layered it. These halfback pearls here are, whoops, I'm sorry, are from Saw Crafters. This bling here is just a snippet of this bling. She, she has such a good price on, on her blingy mesh and on um, this stuff. It's, it's really fun to use. <laughs> um, and this, this right down here is, uh, um, is a piece of that blingy mesh. Uh, this, this is from Saw Crafters, this halfback flower pearl thing, uh, Recollections Flower. I thought this one came out really cute. I like the pink and black. So, so that's what kept me busy last night. <laughs> that's last night and a little bit this morning. So, there you go. I thank you for watching, ladies. I appreciate it. Have a good day now. Bye.